So if you guys want to pass integrity checker and use um, the uh, Google Wallet <clears throat> on your rooted Android without any issues, I'm going to show you guys on how to do this in this video. So I first want to give credit to Sam Becker. Sorry, I mean Sam Beckman. I knew I was saying it wrong. Uh, I'm going to link down the video and the links that we're going to need in this video. So you're going to need three links and then you're going to need, and then I'm going to have down in the description his video um you guys can scroll towards the end of the video where you can see like the mid or two tutorial of how to enable um the google wallet and that also would fit to play integrity um so credit goes to him guys i tried many ways to fit my google play integrity um and i cannot find any way to get the full verification so to show you you can download an app called, from the play store called integrity checker and then um if you click on check usually only the first one it's green but now that you see the all green which is pretty amazing um so play integrity if it's all green it's it means pretty much it's really good um that's like google security and uh, again anything can happen you can try to repeat the process um and see if you can you know it, it can get working again but it's not a guaranteed and um you know google wallet might start working in the future but as of right now as we get this video as of um you know early september of 2025 this method is working so um should work for any android device as well all right so to begin um, i'm not gonna open my google wallet app um it is working but again um since i proved that play integrity is fully working it, you know google wallet should be working other apps as well uh just a disclaimer i'm not you, I'm not sure about ChatGPT. It does crash for me, um, but uh, you guys can try yourself. I don't know if it works for you, but ChatGPT does crash for me. But a lot of apps that didn't work will not work if you, since we have Play Integrity, all green check marks. I thought ChatGPT will work, but maybe maybe I could just reinstall it. I didn't try that, but yeah, maybe that's why it's not working. But I'm not exactly sure about that. Let me know if, if you guys can ChatGPT working down below. But let's begin with the uh, tutorial. So it'll be three links. Um, I'm gonna open up my Magis. I changed it to settings kind of try to hide it um so yeah so we're gonna go over to the module section and you're gonna have uh there's gonna be three links um down below one will be no hello and then another one will be tricky store oss and then the other one will be where is my storage all right so you're gonna have no hello tricky add-on and tricky store i guess you got the intro up there Okay, so pretty much what you guys want to do first is you guys want to install uh, Tricky Store. So right here, it's Tricky Store OSS, right? So once you guys install Tricky Store o OSS, um, once you guys do that, you then want to go over to, um, you just want to say reboot, to so click on, uh, go back, don't, don't reboot or press done, whatever. And then you guys want to install uh, Tricky Add-on. And then uh, once, don't install no hello yet. So once you guys install Tricky Store and Tricky Add-on, um, what you guys want to do is this will come up on your screen. Um, KSU Web UI. You can just you, you know go into the app right here, or if you don't have the app on your screen, um, you just go back to Magisk, go back to Modules on the bottom right, and then you can click on Action right below uh, right here. Click on Action right below Tricky Store OSS, and it should actually open up this thing right here. And then once this is here, you're going to see everything, your, um, your modules will load here. And you see Tricky, Tricky Store OSS, just click on that. Or I might already bring you in here if you click on action. I'm not exactly sure. So I did have to restart. Uh, I'm not sure why it was blank. It's kind of weird. But um, I didn't notice either. But if you restart, it seems to still work. So that's good. I wasn't sure if it was still going to work after I restarted. But yeah, I restarted and it's still, as everything comes up back um, check marks. So that's good. Um, all right, so now if we go over back here, you can click on here, or you can click on um, the action in Magis, either one. And we'll go over to Tricky Store OSS. <clears throat> and it's gonna load a menu like this with all your apps. Click on the three lines in the top right, and then you wanna click, I'm not gonna do it, I already did it, but you wanna click on um, <clears throat> select all, and then do, um, then click on deselect unnecessary, and then click on save on the bottom. And then you want to click on um, set valid key bots and then it should say like a green check or um, success and then just click on save. And then once you do that, you then want to reboot your device, okay? So actually, you can make this change first and then you can actually go back to Magis and then install the uh, tricky, the tricky um, add-on or whatever, the other one. Uh, but either way, or right, then you just want to pretty much reboot. And then after you guys reboot um, you, and your device comes back on, all you want to do then is just install, go back to Magis and then just install the last thing, the third one that we 
you know, didn't install yet, which is the no hello one. Um, so go to install from storage. And then all you do is when your device comes back on, you go back to Magis and click on no hello, and then download no hello. And then it'll say reboot, click on reboot. And when your device comes back on, all you want to do um, is forever app. So if it's, since we're doing Google uh, wallet, if it fixes that, go over to the wallet app. And then you want to have you want, your phone might be a little different steps. We want to pretty much go over to the app info, uh, get a screen similar to this, click on storage, and then you want to click on clear data, not clear cache, click on clear data. And once you do that, then you guys can go open up the wallet app and then it should be working now. Um, you have to re-add your card. Well, my card already was saved there. I just had to put in the um, TV number or CVC, whatever. Um, and then once I did that, the card is not, my card is now, work, is now working. So um, yeah, pretty amazing. And I'm sure this works for a lot of other apps that check play integrity. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Again, I'll have the YouTube tutorial link in the description. If you guys want to watch that tutorial, it's a little, probably a little better than mine. Uh, but you have to fast forward to the end of the video to get that tutorial. With a timestamp says uh, like Google Play, not Google Play, Google Wall Enabler or something like that. So I'm towards the end of the video. Um, and also the three links to download the three stuff I showed, that I was telling you guys about. Um, in the magic as a magic module so those three links will also be down in the description but thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in this one let me know if this works for you and yeah peace out guys